Hi FlossTube, this is Jordan, the Tattoo Stitcher. This is my channel about cross stitch. Welcome to my new subscribers and my returning subscribers. I've had a lot of recent shout outs in different FlossTube videos, which is super flattering and strange at the same time to hear my name come out of somebody's mouth on my TV. <laughs> it's strange, but awesome. So thanks to all those who shouted me out and tagged me on Instagram and sent people my way. I really appreciate it. And the returning people, you're the GOAT. Okay, so I'm doing a video um, more recently than I normally do between videos. And that is for two reasons. Um, May is an absolutely insane month for us. And I just happen to have a free um, morning today, which it's Monday, May 22nd, by the way. I don't think I ever say the date and time on here. I think I said that in my last video too. I'm sorry. Mom brain. Um, okay, back to my point. So I happen to have some free time this morning. And also um, I just wanted to remind everybody of our upcoming stitch along that I'm hosting with um, Rogue Mama, Amber, and uh, Burn Stitches, Bernadette. So more on that in a little bit. But so let's just, and I just figured, you know what? I've stitched a bit and I've gotten a, a finish, a couple finishes. So I might as well just throw it all in and maybe it won't be an hour long video. <laughs> okay, so we'll do my um, whips first. Um, actually, no, we'll do my finishes first. So my first finish I had, I feel like I showed this in my last video. I'm not gonna show this one because I didn't rewatch my last video. I, I feel like I showed it. Did I show this? Look, there's a quick whoop in case I didn't. I feel like I showed it though, I think I did. Okay, so the first <clears throat> or the next, maybe this was the first finish I had the month, I can't remember. This is a um, pattern by Stitches with Coffee. She has an Etsy site. She also has a floss tube, but her floss tube is called Angela Stitches. Um, she hasn't been super active, but she's posted a couple videos lately of some more like her patterns she's been stitching. Um, and I'm st I think this is a 32 count fairy something from Pole Stitches. Um, and it's called Falling in Love, I think. And it's just a cute little, I started it in February for Valentine's and I changed the colors of the cats to be my cats. Um, this cat is a Ymir an Almond m &Ms silk. I can't remember what it's called. I borrowed it from my friend, Amy. Look how cute, it turned out so perfectly. And I changed their eyes to green because both of my cats have green eyes. And then I just used um, beads and Krynik and Whisper that I had in my stash. So it's stitched in DMC and um, over dyed. Just stuff from my stash. I don't remember what the green is called. It's a color and cotton from their old collection. And the gray is a Victorian motto. So yeah, it's really cute. Just a cute little, cute little one. It'll be cute to put up for Valentine's. And then my <clears throat> second finish was the third ballerina bear from the Soda Stitch um, ballerina bears. There's like four. And I finished the third one, which was this one. She's so cute. I love her little tutu. And this is just stitched on a 32 count, oh, something my eye, um, Joblin that I dyed myself with Rit dye. Oh, look at that hoop mark. <laughs> and that's all three of them finished. Isn't this so cute? It turned out so cute. They look almost 3D. Isn't that crazy? I think the green one's my favorite, but. They're adorable. I love how those turned out. Okay, and my next whip I worked on, 
and I worked on her for quite a bit. I think I worked on her for over a week. Over a week for sure. A bug just bit me and I, I needed to stitch her. I've got a super dry throat today. And that is Aphrodite from Mirabilia. And I'm really, really happy with how much I got done on her. She stitched on a 32 count um, opalescent linen called Gaia from Be Stitch Me. This is where she is now. She's getting close. She's so big. Oh, her colors are just Gorgina. So I started when I picked her up. When I picked her up, I had like just this edge and a little bit of the green center done to about here. So when I picked her up, I did, I filled it all in. I filled in some of the missing edges and I did all of this fin and all of this fin and then all of this down to, I got to the shell that she's coming out of because she's got like these pearls all around her. She's coming out of a clam or shell or whatever. And so the half stitches are where the blue crinic, I'll do a full cross of blue crinic over the top. So I do like the half cross of the matching blue. I think I said this about her last time I pulled it out. Um, and then it's kind of nice cause like I can keep going, stitching around it. And then when I, like my iPad dies or something, which it does often, um, I can just do the crinic over the half cross and I don't have to have a pattern out. But yeah, I made it to the shell. I'm so excited. There's still, don't be deceived. <laughs> she looks like she's close and she's not. She is a big girl. She got a big tail and the shell is quite big, but it's pretty bulk stitching. There's good chunks of color. So it's not, um, I'm past the heavy confetti. There's no more like confetti. I'm mostly past that. Um, so it'll just be like nice stitching later. And I think the next time I pick her up, I should be able to finish her, which is really exciting to have a second mirror finish. <laughs> I've only had two mirror finishes my whole stitching career. <clears throat> so, and I'm gonna try to have two this year, which is fantastic. <sighs> okay, next whip. Apparently I was on a mermaid kick because my next whip I stitched on is C Flora. My Nora Corbett whip. I only have one Nora Corbett whip. Can you believe that? If you can hear shouting, that's my child upstairs trying to take a nap, avoiding taking a nap. And this is where I got to in her. I started, I had all the purple in her bust done and I had like her face and this little section of skin. So I did all the arms and the, this hair chunk um the hair comes all the way down here and it's like a lot of 3371 and i was stitching a lot of 310 on aphrodite and i was like i'm over the dark colors so so that's where she is the next whip i did was um cat's bakery i don't have a picture This is on a 28 count Joblin from Hand Eye by Rolanda. And it is Rolanda, everybody. I asked, it came from the horse's mouth herself. I asked her on uh, Etsy how you pronounce her name. And also Amanda, um, Lucky Chance Stitcher, also asked her in person at Stitch North. And it's Rolanda. So let's end that little debate now. Anyways. This is where I am. I'm not gonna take it out and cute snap, guys, because you've seen this cat. Um, I don't remember where it was last time you saw it. I think I had this little sleeping cat done, but like I did this edge of the table. I finished this table edge and I did like her little dress on this cat. Um, and then I started on this cat right here. It says, this is the apron and this will be like a rack where there's like loaves of bread and um, some like bread buns and stuff on it. So cute. This fabric is so dreamy to stitch on. It's like, I have a lot of Rwanda fabric um, and I've got mostly, it's like all Lugana, 
but I only had one piece of the Joblin. She doesn't dye Joblin that often. I'm not sure why, but there's something about the Joblin that is so nice to stitch on. Like, I just feel like my stitches always look fantastic with the Joblin. And then my next whip, maybe I could pull these pictures up. It's not gonna be too big of a deal. This is taking a while. Okay, my next whip is Elf Tree, and this is a sow I'm doing with Bernadette um, Burn Stitches, and our hashtag is uh, Soda Fairy Sow. And there are a few of you who have joined, which is really exciting, and you're blowing me out of the water. <laughs> like, already so far ahead of me. But that's what it looks like. I've been avoiding stitching on this one just because it's a lot. A lot of, I mean, it's a big pattern, but it's a lot of tree. But this is where I am. This is also on a 28 count um, Rolanda opalescent Lugana. I made some good progress. This little fairy girl here. I'm avoiding all the white right here because I'm getting a lot of white on the cards of Alice. But it's really cute. Bernadette is way further than me too. But it's okay. It's not a competition, right? And then this is my last whip. Yes. My last whip is the other stitch along I'm doing with Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher, the cards um, of Alice in Wonderland. She's doing the cards of Hansel and Gretel. Um, our hashtag is cards of soda so. And it looks like this. And I'm stitching mine on a 28 count, no, 32 count light blue Lugana just as Weigart. And I just realized, did I show you the Queen of Hearts last time? I think I did, so I'm not going to. I'm pretty sure I did. So this, I've been working on this card, which is the um, teapot with the teacups. You can see the blue really good in this. I kept the shade down this time, so it's, you can see the colors really good. Um, and this is where I got like halfway, halfway-ish. So I've just got the, some back stitching here to do and then the teapot and then the rest is just white, white to fill in, but it's really cute. And I get to look at that cute little face the whole time. So cute. I'm still loving this one. Even if I complain about all the white. Well, did I forget to put that away? I did. <clears throat> Okay, that is all my whips. Look at that, 13 minutes in and my whips are done. Okay, we're on a roll, people. All right, so let's talk about the sow. Um, we are, Bernadette and Amber and I are doing a My First Soda sow, and it's starting, is it this weekend? The 27th, so yes, starting this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. I realized I said Memorial Day weekend in my last video, but for my, <laughs> not USA viewers, they were like, what is that? When is that? <laughs> it's the 27th of May, the weekend of the 27th of May. I am, I I think Amber and I are starting on the 27th. I think Bernadette is also. So we'll be starting on the 27th of May um, on Etsy. The PDF chart is called, the name is, okay, Cute Modern Girl Clean Day. She looks like this. She's super cute. And I am going to try to stitch her and fit her on this other half of this blue fabric. The problem is I accidentally sliced a thread on this fabric. So I'm a little nervous, but I think we can make it work because I like how this girl turned out on it and I have a whole other side that this girl could fit on perfectly. So this will be my fabric that I'm stitching her on. I'm loving seeing everybody who's joining and their fabric choices. Love it. Um, someone, um, I'm really horrible at the names. I cannot remember her name, but her channel is called Talking Dog Stitcher. 
She's a newer floss tuber. She's only got a couple videos, but she's joining our cell and she's stitch. She's, she mentioned she's going to fill in this shirt, the pink. And I'm definitely thinking that I'm going to do that because it's like pink, but it's white and I'm stitching on blue. So I think I'll probably fill in that shirt with pink too. So yes, um, Amber is going to stitch hers in the AMO thread and Bernadette, I think, is stitching in, in CXC, and I am stitching it in whatever is in my stitching box, which is a mix of all three, <laughs> because we don't discriminate against threads in my house. We stitch with whatever's there and cheap. It all comes out looking the same. Um, okay, so now we'll do some haul and stitchy kindness. Um, the only patterns I bought since I last chatted with you guys is um two soda stitch patterns um one is another one of the pop-up shops which i've stitched the candy shop um and this is the next one i'm going to stitch the animal hospital look at those little critters it is so cute and then this one i was enabled by an instagram gal that i chat with she sent me a picture of it finished I don't have my Instagram on here. It's on my phone, so I can't remember your name. It starts with a J. <gasps> and she stitched this, and it was so freaking cute. I was like, mm hmm jump in my cart right now. Thanks. So that's my only pattern purchases. And, I mean, I don't have a lot here of haul. Um, I'm also going to be joining the new Owl Forest Embroidery stitch along that started it's treasure island theme i'm really excited about this one i love you know pirates and treasure island and like all those old swashbuckling movies um and i'm actually getting the uh amber and i went in on the ordering of the um owl force threads for this pattern and they're so pretty they're so pretty i Picked out my fabric, but I forgot it all the way over there. Um, but I did find a needle minder to match, which is the most important. And it's technically not a needle minder, it's a pin. But I'm gonna turn it into a needle minder. And it is a pirate cat. It's got a peg leg. It's a, it's a cat with a peg leg and an eye patch, so. Pirate. And see, it's a pin. So my husband just hacks these off for me and files them down so they're not sharp. And I glue a magnet to it. So there's that. And then um, I'm in the Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers Fabric of the Month Club. And this is the April color was Eucalyptus Showers. And I get a 28 count linen. And she looks like this. Ooh so foresty. I love it. It's delicious. Delicious. Green. Love it. <clears throat> Maze is also really pretty, but I haven't gotten it yet. My chair keeps scooting forward. And then the only other haul I got was my full set of two label CXC from AliExpress. Okay. And a lot of you have ordered it and I'm really excited and I hope you don't hate it and then hate me. Sorry. <laughs> and then I got some lovely happy mail from Amber. Uh, she sent me so many beautiful, wonderful things. And then I proceeded to immediately use them and scatter them around my house and I can't remember them all and find them all and somewhere in my car and <laughs> but I have some right here so first one was this lovely shirt peep the shirt um it's Alice it's amazing I had to wear it for my next floss tube because it's amazing it's my favorite <sighs> and then she sent me this my first Joan Elliott lady. Look how pretty she is. She's so like serene. Look at her. She's just like, I'm chilling. 
napping in the clouds. Amber thought she reminded her of a ballerina and thought I would like to stitch it because Parker is a little dancer girl. And she's absolutely right. She's a stunner. She's so pretty. I've never stitched a Joan Elliott um, before. So my first Joan Elliott lady. And now I have a wish list that's a mile long. Thanks, Amber. And then Amber also sent me a whole bunch of project bags she had made for me. I don't know who made them though. That's, I reviewed the note she sent and I didn't see it. Um, first bag is this cute, oh look. So she thought that the chihuahua on here reminded her of my chihuahua that died last spring um bear and it does look so much like him i love it i need to put projects in here now that i've shown them they're just like a nice simple you don't care about them getting like roughed up bag they're so soft so that one is adorable and then this one my little pony i love my little pony we have so much my little pony stuff around here and sometimes i just want to play with this stuff but uh, adorable, adorable inside, it's purple, so cute. Rainbow Dash is my favorite, and I also like uh, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> and then the last one is a bigger one, and it's Alice. It's so cute. So cute, I love it. Inside is just a nice solid white. And this is like a bigger, bigger one. So cute. Thank you, Amber. That is it. That is my stitching stuff. We did it. Um, just a quick little like life. Uh, May is our super busy month. It's the last month of school. It's recital month. So <laughs> it's a lot. And then it's like getting nice outside and I just wanna be outside uh, planting things. And so we, I'm gonna organize my thoughts here. So last week, or no, two weekends ago, we went to a local nursery here and we bought eight trees, seven poplar trees. They're just like um, shade tree. Cause our backyard has no shade and no fence because hashtag poor and one peach tree and a bunch of like dogwood bushes and we planted those all along the edges and they're already looking really good and they're leafed out oh, they're so pretty and it makes me so happy to see trees in the yard and i got three hydrangea bushes and they're called the um strawberry sundae so they're like white and pink like ombre oh they're gonna be really pretty i need to plant them still but i need more um topsoil first before i plant them so they're just chilling in their buckets um we also got a huge like retractable umbrella for our back patio right here we sit outside and it's direct sun the sun rises and sets this way so the backyard is always in sun and our patio is kind of small like eventually we'd like to extend the patio all along the back of the house and then have one of those like wood and metal gazebos out there um but it's not in the cards for a uh, for a bit um so we got a really big like 11 foot umbrella and it's been working great we can actually sit out there and chillax it's wonderful <clears throat> um and then so last week um we finished the basement. I think I said that already. Basement's done. Carpet's in. Carpet is in. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's still so high of happiness in my heart. Every time I walk down the basement, I'm in disbelief that it's done. I can't believe it. So we moved my son downstairs because um, he already had a like big bed, like a big mattress. And, and he's just so happy <laughs> so happy to be downstairs in a real bedroom and not an office and have a closet 
and it stays like nice and cool and quiet and dark down there for him, which he needs it to be that way. He has a hard time sleeping and it's just been wonderful to have the space for the kids to go down and play and watch movies and just, oh, it's amazing. So basement got finished and then a few days later, immediately on Monday last week, my husband left to go work out of town which was like the worst possible week to go work out of town because it was also a recital week. And recital week is a bit intense. Uh, we have rehearsals every day um, to prepare for the two shows on the weekend. So we're at rehearsals Mondays and Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday they gave us off, but then we've got therapy <laughs> that whole afternoon. So it didn't really feel like an off day. And then Thursday was dress rehearsal all evening. Um, and then Friday was our first show. Friday night was our first show and Saturday night was our second show. And it was Welcome to the Circus and it was absolutely fantastic. It was amazing. The set was spectacular. It, it looked like a real circus tent. They had like the silks all, you know, coming into the center and there was an aerialist there on those silk, like fabric rope things. It was amazing. It was so much fun and Parker had such a great time. She did so good. And she's already, you know, when can we go again? When can we do it again? <laughs> um, it was it was really fun. And today is Monday and we've got studio pictures all afternoon into the evening. So they do a big giant cast picture on the stage and it takes a long time. There's a lot of kids on that stage and they have to set them all up. I don't, oh. Imagine doing your family pictures with like a couple of your own kids. Like imagine doing this times a thousand because there are like a hundred kids on the stage. It's insanity. There's more probably, more than a hundred. Oh, it's crazy. And then class pictures with their own class and everything. So got pictures tonight and she's also decided that she wants to try out for the team. There's like different levels of dance. There's like the studio classes, which we've been doing. And then there's the teams, which do a couple local competitions. And then there's the company, which does the national competitions. And uh, we are not at company level. We're not those people. <laughs> those girls are really good though. So we're trying out for the team. She wants to be able to do a couple competitions just in our town. And so tryouts are the next, are Tuesday and Wednesday all afternoon. <laughs> into the evening, into the early evening. So just, just the afternoon. So we'll be doing dance things all afternoon the next three days, but it'll be okay. She's very excited. And if she doesn't make the team, then we'll just do the studio class. It's not a big deal, but she wants to try. So we shall be trying that. Um, school's almost over. I'm torn about it because I really enjoyed the quiet few hours I get in the afternoon during nap time when the baby goes to sleep and all the kids are still at school but my kids are really tired they really want a break to just do nothing and play all day so it'll be good but um so they've got a week of school left because this is their last full week and then it's memorial and then they go back for two days in June the second's their last day so then it'll be summertime Summertime! We're already signed up for swimming lessons. And that's all we do. My son's not a sporty kid. He never wants to do the sports. We've tried doing some sports and he's not a contact sports kind of kid. <laughs> it's okay. So will stay home and play all day. But yeah, so after that week of dance and husband being out of work, out of town for work, he got home just in time to see the second performance. We were tired. We were tired yesterday. We were supposed to go do some family parties and the kids were just like crying about having to leave the house. We were all tired. So we had to bow out and we just stayed home and we sat outside in the shade and the kids played in the water all afternoon and we bought the new um, Super Mario movie and watched it downstairs for our first basement family movie night. It was awesome. And I decided I really need to get some kind of stitching situation figured out down there because I don't like just watching a movie, especially if it's a cartoon, which that movie was actually really cute and funny. I liked it. Um, but I feel I have to like do something with my hands. Like I hated just sitting there. I brought my little Velky 
Potoki down there, but the lighting, you know, it's dark. And so I had this little clamp on light that kept falling off. And so my stitches probably don't look great, but it's okay. But, oh, and it was my, <laughs> it was me and my husband's anniversary on Saturday. We totally forgot. We woke up and we were just chilling in the morning and kids are eating breakfast. And I <laughs> grabbed Facebook and like flicked it on and it came up with that mem a memory thing. And it was like reminding me it was my anniversary today. And I looked at Ethan and I said, hey, happy anniversary. <laughs> and he was like, oh my gosh. We are not big celebrators of that kind of stuff. We've never celebrated our anniversary in like a big way. We just, eh. it was 12 years. So we've been married 12 years. Uh, we got married when I was 20. So but yeah, so that we got to go to dance recital for our anniversary. <laughs> it's okay. There'll be plenty of years in the future where the kids won't want to hang out with us on our anniversary. So it'll be fine. But I rambled enough. Um, I hope you'll join us for the soda stitch, my first soda sa sal. Um, I'm so excited to see a bunch of people stitching it at the same time as me. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, I really hope you join us and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your May and enjoy your stitching as much as you possibly can. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.